Alright you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and please feel free to like, subscribe, and follow my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about fame. Alright, so fame, success, it's all worldly. I'm not in the industry, and when I mean the industry, I'm talking about the writing industry. I am an author. I am not in the industry to gain a million followers I'm not there to become like rich and I mean rich rich like James Patterson JK Rowland that type of rich I'm not even in the industry to win awards all that is worldly ambition and whatnot when you use your gift and give it back to God that's when God is going to redirect your whole purpose with your gift and all. He's going to be like, okay, all this you wanted, you said yes to my will, uh, you got to do it this way, okay? And you know, sometimes it's not what we want, but at the end of the day, we said yes to God for a reason. We chose to follow him. We, we love him. And we obey his commandments. Yet we don't want to get caught up and too tied up in the world just to gain all the worldly stuff. It's okay to get it, but it's best when God gives it to you. And I'm going to tell you why it's best when God gives it to you. God is not going to give you what you want all at once. Nope. He is going to give it to you bit by bit by bit by bit. I had a reading book that I had gotten in the second grade. And it was titled Bit by Bit. And when I think of it, you know, I'm like, you know what? God just only blesses me like bit by bit by bit so it could be just one or two freaking um copies of an ebook that i've written being downloaded and still make it to the top 100 again i'm still gonna be humble about it i'm not here to talk you know prosperity gospel because that's not me i'm mainly primarily my main focus is to use my platform to uplift the kingdom of god and, you know, to talk about repentance, to talk about salvation, heaven and hell, because there are so many false prophets not talking about this. They're standing in the pulpit, yet they want the flock to give them their last, just so they can be financially stable and not pigeon to the community and whatnot. And that's a no-go for me. Whenever, one thing about me, I would say, whenever I give somebody a word, I will not charge them. I don't care how long I give the word of God to them or that message of hope to them. It's going to be free. It's going to be free regardless because I don't care about money like that. My treasure is not with my heart. It's not going to be with money. My heart is going to be directly heavenly, heavenly things. And, you know, at the end of the day, I want to use my gifts to uplift the kingdom of God. This is why I'm a Christian author. Back then, when I first started out writing, my writing had everything but the right thing in it. So, from fornication, violence, profanity, you name it, it was not lining up with the word of God. Even, I was writing about churches supporting people in the LGBT community. That's a no-go, too. So, I really had to do some repenting. And another thing, though, too. When you use your gift to uplift the kingdom of God. You just can't really use it for anything. You can't just write what you want to write. You can't just sing what you want to sing. You can't play what you want to play. You can't dance what you want to dance to. All that stuff. No, 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 no. Because I'm going to tell you something. God will redirect your path. Okay? He has done it for one of my projects too, y'all. So, I'm, I'm not going to talk about that project because I'm not working on it right now, but when that time comes, I pray to God, God's will, and he will allow me to talk about it. But at the end of the day, God will redirect your past once you say yes. So for me, whenever I write, I know I'd rather put in sound true doctrine. I did not start putting sound true doctrine messages until book nine when I talked about, you know, getting saved and whatnot. If you read Can You Stand the Game? You will understand what I'm talking about in chapter 2 of the book where my heroine 
name after me, which is actually me, because I never met nobody named BJ, to be honest. But she tells him while they're eating, hey, do you have a relationship with the Lord? How is your relationship with him? That is what I say when I meet somebody that God, when God pours something in my heart to tell them, okay? I will not automatically tell people I'm an author, okay? No. I mean, yes, I got to be word of the mouth, but you got to protect your gift at the end of the day. You still got to protect your dream. And, you know, wherever God allows for, you know, my writing to go to, I pray that he continues to, you, you know, use me to write these masterpieces. Because the reason why I chose to write Christian romance was to write something other than sex. Write something other than profanity and all this other stuff, lust and all that. I mainly wrote it because there are so many people in this Christian race that need not only uplifting entertainment or to be educated, but they need powerful words of encouragement. Some people just need that uplifting. And, you know, sometimes I might, at first I was shy about it, but now, you know, I'm still writing, but I just want God to lead me whenever I minister to somebody plain simple the end because not too long ago I ministered to somebody that is still struggling with homosexuality yes I ministered to that person and like I said the enemy don't like when I do my job when I minister to people and I did it with love I did not condemn this person whatsoever so that's not me but what I did do I did it with love and that's how we need to be whenever God uses us. Like I said, I'm using my platform to uplift the kingdom of God. I'm not here to seek fame, fortune, money, and all that. No, no, no. I'm not even big bank and taking a little bank, okay, when it comes down to my right. I know that time will come eventually, but that's not why I continue to do it. I want to continue to do what I love because I know one day I'm going to, you know, I'm going to reach the right people. And the right people will say, thank you for writing this book because I went through this. Or I went through that. And I needed that encouragement because I don't see books like this. And, you know, the reason why I'm also writing Uplifting Entertainment is because I can barely read a book that has somebody that's of the LGBT community. And I have to throw the whole book away, y'all. And I'm going to be honest, keep it real on the one, twos, and threes. I'm not about to compromise my faith just to read a whole book that has a person of that community. I no longer support the community. I no longer am an ally. And that's when, this is why I, I don't have high readings anymore because, I'm sorry y'all, this is why I don't have a higher number of readers or, you know, you know, pages read because I'm, you, you know, I repented. I repented from doing the wrong thing and continue to live in sin, continue to condone sin. When you continue to condone sin, you're missing out. You're going to miss out on heaven, to be honest. You're going to miss out on heaven because the enemy blesses people, but God blesses his people too. So I'm letting you know that. So when you sin, I'm going to be honest, the enemy gets to worship. The enemy gets the worship. Not on my watch. Because I was like, nope, I'm I'm repenting all of this stuff that I used to write. Got to go. Because it was to the point I was actually going to um I was actually gonna step outside the genre and write it until I was in another country and I was about to go into a new chapter of my life, age wise. And God planted a seed in my hand. He was like, you're following me, so why not strictly stick to, you know, the genre? What's wrong with the genre you're writing in? And I thought about it. I was like, you got a point. And it was it was really killing me because I still wanted to write it, even though I just didn't support the people anymore. And I wasn't an ally. But if I did write in y'all... It was like I was saying, I'm condoning sin. So it took my brothers and sisters in Christ. It was like, hey, it's wrong. 
is wrong. Even if you write it, it's wrong. So I no longer write it. So that's I've been haven't written that really in like almost ten years. So that's another ten year milestone. I mean, I've chosen to write Christian author I mean Christian romance because I wanted my writing to you know reflect my lifestyle and then plus on top of that I wanted to use my platform to outreach to people and you know get many souls saved for Christ it's about purpose at the end of the day I don't care how much money I make from these books okay I don't care how many pages they get read I don't care I really don't know what's it I'm sorry I just don't care if they win an award or not. No, 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 no. At the end of the day, my purpose is to use my platform to uplift the kingdom of God, to continue to spread the awareness of Jesus Christ, because people want to erase him like he never existed. Does Flash? He does. He does exist. He exists. He lives inside of me. Yes. And I read about it, and even when I'm reading my book, y'all, I read my Bible out loud. I read it out loud. And even when I read, I be, I be still reading it like I'm in my room. Be like, mm-mm. I mean, especially about the children of Israel. So let me get back to my point. Fame is like a drug. Fame is like a drug. And it can become addictive, just like success. It can become an addictive, you know, very addictive. And, you know, back then, I wanted to be famous. I I wanted my name out there, everything. But, you know, fame comes with a price. And a lot of times, famous people are the ones doing anti-God stuff. Like fornication, um, sexual sin, other sexual sins, um, sacrifices. Like, if I got to sacrifice you just to get a million dollars or whatnot, I'm wrong. Something is wrong. Like, I don't do all that blood sacrifice. I'm nothing. But, you know, at the end of the day, I made my own lane. And at the end of the day, I realized why I'm not like everybody else. Like I said, I'm using my platform to uplift the kingdom of God and to spread awareness about the name of Jesus. Because so many people, in this, especially a lot of celebrities, they don't have Jesus. They do not have Jesus. And not too long ago, one of one of the YouTubers, I love watching her channel. She does the Steve and Laura time. Um, she was saying a lot of them, like, when was the last time you actually prayed for somebody you admired? I mean, a lot of times I pray for Harry and Megan. I ain't gonna lie. And I do pray for my sisters in Christ and brothers in Christ because I admire them and the ones that I still hold my heart. I still pray for them, just like I pray for my enemies. But, you know, it hit me real hard. I said, Lord, I said, whomever I'm following on Instagram, because I'm going to primarily use Instagram the most. But I just, not too long ago, got back on Facebook because there's going to be another promo, free promo. <laughs> so I'll let y'all know when that starts back up. Four or five days. <laughs> One thing about me, I will do a free book promo. And there will be a day, even towards the end, like November, December, where all my books, no matter how much, how many I've written, all of them will be free. So I'm letting y'all know that. But she was like, when was the last time you actually prayed for somebody in my I remember I used to pray for a good bit of them, but now I'm getting back into it. Because a lot of times I do pray for Prince Harry and Meghan Mark a lot. Because... I love them. They're actually part of the community that I really advocate for. The interracial families community. Okay? Only heterosexual. Can't be homosexual. But I'm praying for them the most out of all the celebrities. And I know that's not good, but you know, I just pray that even celebrities, there's y'all, I'm gonna be honest. I don't brag or talk about whom my IG has influenced, who it has impacted since, you know, I started, you know, ministering. And I started my ministry a year ago. So it's going to be two years I pick back up on, you know, ministering and all that. But 
And what I mean by ministering, I'm not in the pulpit. That's a position, okay? Ministry is doing something for free instead of, you know, thinking of money and all that. Because, like I said, whenever I give somebody a word, that word is going to be free, okay? Free of charge. I, if The Bible is free of charge, okay? The word of God is free of charge, period. No way will I want to pimp God's word just because I'm money hungry. I'm not even money hungry. I don't care about money. Money. I really don't. Like I said. But like I said. I just want to use my platform to uplift the kingdom of God. Plain, simple, the end. Okay? Plain, simple, the end. I don't want to use it to um, do anything else. Because uh -uh. I feel like fame comes with a price. And it does. It comes with a price. And if that price is not always pretty, it will never, ever be pretty. Okay? So, fame is actually so addictive. And people, they yearn for it. They do anything to be an attention seeker. Not me. Because, like I said, I don't get on here every day just to do these videos. That, that's the wrong answer. I get on here to minister to y'all, to let y'all know what's out there and everything. Because right now, people need to repent for the kingdom of God is near. They need to repent and, you know, stop what they're doing. They need to fast. Because when Jonah went to Nineveh, the people recognized they're wrong. And they actually, um, they fasted. They fasted for seven days. And Jonah was like, guy, I'm in here. Oh, so they were like, um, Jonah was like, God, ain't you going to do something about Nineveh? He said, I went there, I spread what you was going to do and all that. Here they go, they fast and whatnot. God was like, I'm not going to destroy them because they turned from their wicked ways. And Jonah was one of those prophets I really loved y'all but <sighs> this man I'm low key like Jonah in a way but um I just well I'm still running away from someone and it's not God it's just one of my enemies I'm running away from but that's another story for another day <laughs> but um like I said I'm not going to use my platform just to gain a million followers to um, gain money and all that. Oh, no, no. I got 33 souls on here that probably need a message of hope, a word of encouragement and all that. Yes, the books are really a benefit. I mean, not a benefit. I wouldn't say that. They're a bonus. The books are a bonus, so I won't really hardly talk about my books unless, and I mean unless there's a free book or there's a book that's about to be done. All that. Okay? So remember that. Like, God really doesn't care about fame. He really doesn't because he should be the one to begin famous, okay? You should be using your platform to make God famous. And that's what I'm going to do, even in my writings, okay? I'm going to continue talking about Jesus. I'm going to continue talking about um, salvation, repentance, all that stuff. Biblical stuff, period. Sound true doctrine, okay? That's me and me on them. So that's my message for today. May God continue to keep you all. May he bless you all. Have a good day.